What's going on guys? My name is Frito, also known as the self-proclaimed motherfucking king of podcasting, back on Thunderstruck Gaming, my little home away from home. Damn, it feels good to be here. And I'm bringing you Hardpoint on Express in league play using a light machine gun with a huge KD spread, at least for playing the objective like I do. And it's fucking awesome. What more do I got to say? Just check this shit out. If you don't even like to hear what I have to say right now, just watch this gameplay, because I guarantee you, you'll never see another league gameplay with a light machine gun. I could be wrong about that, especially if my custom class here works out well and people start to copy it. We'll see! But that's the beauty about Black Ops 2 with the custom class system. You're able to pick what you want, do what you want, have it your way. It's like the Burger King menu of custom classes. <laughs> I wish I knew the little song that went along with that, but I, I can't remember. Anyway, so what this commentary is about, I'm going to try to sell you on league play because I think a lot of people are bashing their head against the wall playing public matches. Our boy, Uncle T-Dog, Thunder as well, I need to get his ass in a lobby with me playing leagues because we always have a good time playing leagues in my parties. Ain't that right, boys? Because we hardly ever lose. And I'm not saying we're the best team, best 6v6 team because we, we cycle through players and all that types of things, but the point is... It's always a competitive game. It's always, there's not like, you don't have to worry about camping. There's no such thing as camping. There's either winning or losing. See what I'm saying? There's not like, well, he wasn't doing what I want him to do. He wasn't playing the way I want him to play. There's no excuses in league mode. Whoa, look at that knife lunging. There is a way to do lunging in, the, in Black Ops 2, but whenever I try to knife, I always get shit on, so I'm just done using the knife altogether, but that guy definitely hit that sprint button and put his knife right in my chest. But, league play is where the action is in Black Ops 2, I'm telling you. Whether you're a great player, a decent player, anything, just play league play, you'll have a better time. Now, the... I'll start to break down some of the things that you need to know, because I'm sure a lot of you have never even touched this playlist, have no interest in it. But hold on a sec, let's check out this. Feet! Yeah, buddy! That's what I put, set up this light machine gun class for. I figured on hard point, since you're holding on one spot, a light machine gun might be pretty decent because you'll have a lot of targets coming at you at once. We'll see if I'll ever get to use this gun again. This was on day one, mind you. But in league play, you don't rank up your pub stats. Well, you, your stats your stats are separate. Don't don't worry about your stats. Fuck your stats. Stats don't matter. This is league. It's called playing for the win and getting better rank. You don't rank up your normal uh, leveling system like you normally would. You'll get a little bit of a pub experience, but it's not that much. Nothing to write home about. It's like a thousand or ten thousand per match. It's nothing. Just ignore that. But what you do get, you unlock everything in the game. So you can set up your classes however you want. None of this like un unlocking bullshit, ranking guns up, worrying about prestiging, not prestiging. All that is gone out the window. And instead of getting a level, you get assigned a rank. And it goes up from bronze, silver, gold, platinum, masters, pro. And then they might make like super awesome MLG legit pro league up there like the top .11% or something like that. I'm in Masters right now. Right here, this is one of my placement matches, and it was really easy in my placement matches. But what you do is, you get in these placement matches, and you get put into a league based on how well you do and the type of players you're playing against, types of things. It's all an algorithm. Don't worry about it. And then you get that medal, and it'll start to match you up against people that are more along your skill level. It's genius, right? Why wouldn't you want to play like that? And the better part about it is, everybody in the, in the game should be trying to win. Now, I'm sure there's some jackasses screwing around, doing dumb shit, but if you find some people in this game mode, you know, get on your mic, start communicating. If you don't have any friends that like to play this, just get in a, into at least a small party. Two to four guys can easily change the tide in this type of game if you're just like a guy that likes to lone wolf all the time. But that is the way to go. And there's so many things you can explore, like... I'm start, I started to figure out that the War Machine is a fucking monster, and that's something you don't unlock until later in your prestige. And just like the feeling of having all the limits taken away from me, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen. And better yet, you don't have to worry about 
all the old style YouTube pub stomping standards and bullshit, all that stuff is out the window. It's gone. It, it, it's it's nowhere to be seen, especially on my channel nowadays. Um, I basically don't play pubs anymore. I'm only playing this. But the problem is, I don't want to play League solo very often because I am in Masters rank and I don't want to like get paired up against hard opponents and lose a lot. I do like to have a couple people in my party at least to, to help me out. But this is where the fun is. And what I'm doing on my channel is a combination of commentaries over this legit League gameplay. As opposed to your normal pub stomping bullshit where people are like spinning in circles and half the guys are like AFK not even playing or using the worst guns in the game and dumb stuff like that. But also what I'll be doing is CODcast, which is what I'm really excited for. Because at the end of the day, I'm not the greatest player in the world. And you know what? A lot of these YouTubers that everybody thinks are really good, they're not the greatest players in the world. But most importantly, what I'm going to be trying to do for you guys is through my CODcast, through my commentaries, through everything I do on my channel, to try to make competitive Call of Duty more relatable to you, so you can understand it, so you know what's going on. And that's the CODcast style that I go into my CODcasts. I'm actually going to get into the strategy and the dynamics of the game and relate it to you in a way that when you're watching what I do, and my podcast and my commentaries and everything, you can pull something from it and use it for your own. So when you go into leagues, you might have a better time or you might learn a thing or two or how to counter a setup, a good setup, things like that. Strategies, communication, the whole nine yards. Competitive Call of Duty, folks. That is the future. And it's a beautiful future. The future is black. And black is a great color because it's all the colors put into one. I don't know where I'm going with that. It doesn't make any sense. But... Look at that LMG. 32 and 4. That thing is a monster. So come over to my channel. We're having a lot of fun over here, man. Chucking and jiving. Follow my Twitter. I'll be tweeting out when I need some teammates because I can't add everybody onto my friends list. Have been had too many subs for all that. But otherwise, Black Ops 2, great game. Having a lot of fun. Love it to death. My name is Frito. I don't do outros.